Hey everyone, welcome to part two of this battle of the 80 watt big boy party speakers, or at least 80 watts or more. The sound core is 80, the Ortizan on the uh, right is 80, and the uh, Tribit Stormbox Blast has a maximum of 90 watts. But as we all know, wattage isn't really the most important thing, it's decibels, and uh, I really haven't had a chance to measure the decibels on how loud they get, but anyways, let's just get into this. Uh, we're going to go into the sound test first. I haven't gotten a chance to watch this my first video that I did on this with the outdoor test, so I'm not sure if I told you guys the specs and features of each of these speakers, but we will do that in the second half of this video if I didn't. If I did, then that's all this video is going to be, is the sound test. So... Again, let me explain how the sound test goes. I'm going to play like at least three, maybe four tracks. Um, one at 50% and one at 100% volume. Uh, one with their bass up and one with their bass up off technology. I think the tri-bit has extra bass. The sound course is bass up and then the, uh, the Ortizan is also called extra bass. I'm going to play the same part of each track for each of the speakers. So they're all at the same part of the song and not at different parts of the song so that you can get a better idea instead of playing a whole music and then going from one speaker to the next because as i've said in the past one speaker might sound just better because it's in one part of the track that has more musicality or let's say more bass or more mids and highs or something like that so we're just going to play the same track at the same part of the track for each of the speakers. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to go to one minute for each of the tracks because it kind of takes too long. I might just go 30 seconds depending on the track for each of the for each of the speakers. The only ones that can you can really custom EQ is the uh, Soundcore Rave Partycast with their Soundcore app and the Tribit app. With the tr Soundcore app and the Tribit app, you can customize the EQ to tune the sound to how you like it. The Ortizan does not have an app, so there's no really there's no way to tune the sound to your liking. So that's number one. So I'm gonna leave the uh, leave them all at their default presets, which is uh, on the Soundcore it's outdoor mode. On the uh, Tribit is a uh, music mode. And the uh, Ortizan P6 is actually its default mode or is just extra bass on or extra bass off. So basically extra bass is going to be off for all of them. Or on the Tribit with the app, uh, it only does extra bass. Uh, although on the sound core, you can add extra bass to whatever uh, EQ uh, presets that you have. That's the one good thing with the sound core is that you can't add uh, the extra bass button for any of the uh, EQs that you're using. Whereas on the uh, Tribit Stormbox Blast, it's only extra bass on, or you could use one of the, your own customized EQ or one of the presets, which is music, audiobook, classical, jazz, party, and, and party, as you guys can see right here. So we're gonna go on the uh, Tribit, we're gonna go there. All right, let's do this. So I'm about six feet away, at least six feet away, maybe a little more than six feet away from the speakers. And uh, I'm using the same mics, or I'm using the same lavalier microphone as I used in the last test. The only thing different is I'm using my LG V60 instead of my Sony, because my Sony will overheat still, because the weather's still kind of hot, within like half an hour, and the battery runs out a lot faster on the Sony. And then my Panasonic that I have, it has focusing issues, which leaves me with the LG V60, because I'm using my Samsung as the uh, player. Actually, the Samsung also kind of heats up sometimes in hot weather. So that's why we're using the LG V60, because the LG V60 does not heat up. And uh, it's got a good DAC inside there, digital audio converter, to use for um, music. And it's the camera I used on my last video for the uh, other speakers for the indoor test. As you guys noticed, the, the setting is a little different. It's not in my recording room. It's actually out here in our family room so it's a much bigger room too you have a better idea of how these speakers sound indoors in a bigger room but the room also is like adjacent to our kitchen so they're all like in one area so uh like i said it's a much bigger area to disperse sound instead of the small room that i use for recording my videos all right let's get into the sound test Okay, I'm going to go with the Ortizon first before it uh, it does its auto shutoff back on again. And we're gonna, the first song is going to be this one, like the last time, Subway Dreams by Dan Henning. Uh, let's make sure I'm at 50% volume first. 
Okay, so we are at 50% volume now, and uh, let's start. Okay, now we're going to go at 100% volume. I actually downloaded this app from the Play Store called the Sound Meter app. So that's what we're going to use to see how loud they get the best for five years. So that's what I'm going to use. It said it's the best for five years. <laughs> Oh, 
That sound meter app, I don't even know if it's actually working because it seemed like it was the same for all of them with the decibels. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to use that. It's a hassle going back and forth. And when I'm using a sound meter app to show you guys, I can't see the time on the uh, song that's actually playing. And that's actually the most important is the time. You guys could use your own hearing to see how loud they get. Make sure you're using headphones on these tests or a good sound system instead of your smartphone. All right, let's move on to the next song. Um, just so this video don't take too long, we're not going to do the 50% and 100% no more. We're going to make a little compromise. That's probably like 80% or so. 75, maybe. No, yeah, that's probably like 80%. So that's what we'll do. Uh, starting with the uh, Ortizon P6. Play one more track we're gonna play the as you fade away from the effects it's not really a bass heavy song so we're just gonna leave extra bass on for all three speakers at 80 percent volume Sitting in and out. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's 
Okay, actually, we're going to do one more sound demo. We're going to still use this track right here because of the uh, instrumentation. But I'm going to play the Tribit Stormbox Blast and the uh, Soundcore Rave Party Cast with their custom EQs. And the Ortizon, you already know how the Ortizon sounds. So we're just going to skip the Ortizon and just do the uh, Soundcore and the Tribit. Because I feel like the Tribe, well, not really the Tribit, but the Soundcore don't really get its full like myself and my nephew included we felt like the sound core rate party cast with its preset eqs didn't sound that good until we used the custom or i used a, a custom eq that i got from alan ross on his uh youtube page so if you guys want to follow his channel he has more in-depth sound comparisons on a lot of these speakers that i reviewed here in this video probably except for the uh, ortizon he does a thing where he normalizes the tracks you know to make them sound at the same volume levels but i go by you know whatever the my phone says that's what i'm going by so if my phone says 50 or 100 or 80 percent then that's what they are and if one speaker sounds louder at that volume then that's how it is anyways um yeah let's do it with the the custom eq on the on the uh rave party cast and a tribit stormbox blast and then we'll finish off the sound demo so the only ones competing this time out because they have their own apps and what so you can customize the eq is the uh, sound core and the uh tribit so first up we'll go with the sound core and we're gonna go to its custom setting right here see that's what i put it on i don't think alan ross reviewed this sound core rave party cast so i used the equalizer that he used on one of the other soundcore speakers i um, want to say it's the soundcore motion boom but i could be wrong so now we're at the uh so that's our equalizer mode now so on the tri bit we're going to use the custom eq the only thing with the custom eq when you use the custom eq on the tri bit you can't use the extra bass feature which you can on the rave party cast so that's what i'm going to do on the Rave Party Cast, I will use the extra bass feature on top of the uh, custom equalizer setting. And on the uh, Tribit Stormbox Blast, it'll just be custom EQ. Now let's go to the Tribit Stormbox Blast. So here's the Tribit Stormbox Blast. And uh, there's music mode and extra bass mode. And then there's um, my custom EQ from Alan Ross. So 
I'm going to play like 30 seconds of each from first music mode and then X bass and then the custom EQ. And again, we're going to be at 80% volume, as you can see. Okay, so that's it with our uh, sound demos. I'll do more of the equalizer settings on their separate videos for the Soundcore Rave Partycast and the Tribit Stormbox Blast, but in this comparison, that should be good enough just to give you guys an idea of what their apps can offer you because they have an app and the, uh, the Tribit and the Soundcore, whereas the uh, Ortizon does not. But like I said, the Ortizon has karaoke. It comes with a free wireless karaoke or microphone so you can do karaoke and things like that where you can't do with the other the, the sound core and the uh tri bit now let's go over some of the extra features or special features or specs i actually went over most of them in the uh first video if you guys want to see all the specs and features uh most of all the specs and features i'll put a link in the description for the first video I'm just going to go over some of the things that I miss and like go over the pros and cons um, as far as the Rave Soundcore Rave Party Cast, the Tribit Stormbox Blast, and the Ortizon P6. So starting with the cons, with the Ortizon P6, as you guys can see, um, out of all of them, it's got the shortest battery life with 8 hours of uh, battery time. And they're the function buttons here, none of them light up. None of them light up. And it's got the fastest uh, auto shutoff, which is which is understandable because it's also got the shortest battery life. So it's got the quickest auto shutoff, as you guys uh, have already seen in the previous in this video and, and in the previous video. The one other feature that I don't like with the Ortizon is uh, because these buttons don't light off, l light up. You don't know if you have extra bass on and extra bass off. To me, I don't know if you guys heard it in the sound test. But there really wasn't that big of a difference um, between extra bass on and extra bass off. And it actually, I don't know, I thought, to me, I felt more bass when I turned it off. It says that extra bass on is on by default. And then if you give it a short press, then that bass button right here, it'll turn extra bass off. But it seemed like there was more bass, so maybe those instructions are wrong. The other issue that I have with the orders on... So the only LEDs it has is these lights up here to, to, to give you the battery level, right? There's uh, five of them. Now, see, if I press that extra base, short press it or whatever, it, there's nothing to indicate that it's on or off. But the one thing that I really don't like, and it, it was a pain in the butt when making this video, is to they say to get to the default with the base on, base, extra base on, you have to long press it for five seconds until you hear a beep and then it'll shut off and go back to its default settings. But what happens when you do that is, okay, it did that, right? So now what happens is when you try to reconnect again, you can't because it's almost like factory resetted. 
Okay, so now we turned the uh, orders on back on because it, it reset it with that long press. So now let's go look for it. See, it, you have to repair it again. So that's kind of a hassle. It actually worked out better this time out, but usually that thing will be in there and then you have to uh, unpair it and repair it. So that's the one hassle I don't like with the Ortizon is that right after you long press that to get it back to its default, then it'll um, go back to reset. So you have to unpair it and then repair it. So that's the biggest negative on the Ortizon P6. So shortest battery life and that hassle with Bluetooth and repairing it again after it re you reset it. It's a hassle to use the extra base on and extra base off on the Ortizon P6. So that's the cons on this one. Other than those two, the battery life and the uh, and the extra base feature being a negative as far as like because you have to it resets. There isn't too much else. Uh, I like the sound with the extra base on and uh, if you just keep it plugged, you're, you'll be good to go. <laughs> so that's the only thing with the orders on. The Tribit, um, Tribit has been my favorite speaker since I got it. It has very punchy bass, even without using extra bass, uh, as you guys have heard in the sound demo. The one thing I don't like with the Tribit, see it has all these uh, function buttons that light up, but there is nothing for the battery level on this. So the only way to know the battery level on your Tribit Stormbox Blast is it to go to the app and it'll, it'll tell you the battery level right there. So it doesn't have like the LEDs here on the Ortizon to tell you where the battery is at or on the Arrave Party Cast. It also has those LEDs up top right here by the power button. This, the Tribit, the only way you can tell the battery level is um, if you look through the app right there. And then the other negative that I don't like with the Tribit is the lighting modes. There's only two. I wish there was more, like at least four or even f five and six, like what the Rave Party Cast and the Ortizon have. Now let's get to the Rave Party Cast. So the Rave Party Cast, the one thing I don't like with the Rave Party Cast, the biggest one, is this. Um, this bottom part of the speaker right here is not an actual speaker. It's fake. It's a fake driver. The actual drivers are just these two right here. The subwoofer and this tweeter. So it doesn't really have that nice stereo image that you get like on the Ortizon and the uh, Tribit. That's why the sound core doesn't have the widest sound stage. And it doesn't get as, I don't think it gets as detailed as the other two. But like I said, you can't get it to sound almost as good as a Tribit if you play around with the EQs and customize the EQ settings. So that's the biggest one right there is that... Other than that, there isn't really much about the sound core. I don't like the default preset sound and the fact that on the sound core, there's only three preset uh, sound signatures and that's outdoor, indoor, and bang. And then you can make your own custom settings. I didn't really like any of these um, preset settings out of the box. Those are the cons with the sound core. Is the fake um, driver is not really, this bottom tweeter is not really a, an active tweeter. It's not, it's just there be, so you, they can put the lights here. And then uh, three preset modes are not that good. So you will have to learn how to customize the EQ settings to get the best sound. Or like I said, look up some other YouTubers channel uh, for a similar speaker or a sound core speaker and use their EQs and then play around with it to get the sound that you like. And yeah, that's the only issue I have with this one. Other than that, um, the Tribit and the uh, sound cord, they don't give you that much for what you're paying. Although the Tribit now is at its lowest at $169. The sound core is still $149 at Walmart. If you go to the store, if you try to order it, it's going to be $179. And then the Ortizon is like $140, $139. And I'm not sure if that $20 off coupon is still on there or not or $23 off coupon but you guys will see it as I'm, I'm talking in the sound core all the lights are good they all light up so you could see the you know all their functions and stuff like that which is good and then the LED indicators right there oh the uh, one other thing I don't like with the tri bit is 
You can't use the extra bass on top of your custom EQ like you can with the um, sound core. So now let's go over all the pros on all of these speakers. So first, the one common pro with all these speakers, they all sound good out of the box. They don't sound horrible and you can get them to sound even better. At least these two using custom EQs or the app. And they all get plenty loud as you guys have seen with my outdoor test and probably in here in the indoor test inside my big family room. No issues on the uh, volumes and everything like that. They all get plenty loud. They all have pretty good bass, although the Tribit is the, has the deepest bass and has the most bass. The sound core, you're going to have to tune it to get the proper bass out of the box, like I said. And the uh, Ortizon is probably pretty balanced out of the box without any uh, EQing, although it would be nice for the orders not to have an EQ so that's that's the other negative con it doesn't have an e app to customize the EQs so that's the pros on all of them is the they all can get very loud and they all have good sound out of the box they're not horrible although you can make them sound better but with that this is where they start to differ so uh starting with the or Ortizon the pros on the Ortizon it has a very good bundle like it comes with that microphone so you can do karaoke it comes with a audio connector, you know, your 3.5 audio connector cable. And also on the orders on here in the back, even though I don't like the, it's easier now because I have a little bit of nails. But it has, it has a port for a microphone, the USB for charging your 3.5 audio connector, uh, USB-C for charging the speaker. And right here, a, a big advantage that it has versus the other two is it has a micro SD card uh, slot and it just turned off again but that micro SD card will come in very handy like say if you're outdoors and you can't get any connectivity and you forgot to bring your mp3 player you'll still be able to play music with that micro SD card slot if you have a micro SD card inside there and you brought one that is okay so that's the plus on the Ortizon and it has the best uh if you're into the RGB the Ortizon has the best uh RGB lights out of all of them as far as like the different modes and and the uh just the brightness of the colors as you saw with the outdoor test you could still see the lights on here even in bright sunlight whereas the other two you really you can't really see the lights on the uh Tribit and the uh, Ray Party cast okay the Tribit Stormbox Blast what I call the uh, power block, dumbbell, barbell, dumbbell, barbell, dumbbell. Um, the plus is all these function buttons all light up and they're easy to see. It has the best sound and the most, the best balance sound out of the box without any EQ. Just with its music settings, I think it has the best sound, the ba most balanced sound out of the box. Um, I like the build and uh, the one thing with all of these even though my hands are pretty they don't really attract too much fingerprints or smudges um with the tri bit on the back on here with ports the one con that a lot of people don't like is this it uses a, a straight uh plug that you like to use on um your tvs or your regular like stereo devices right but to me i, I like that because if you have a power strip or a yeah power strip it, won't, it doesn't, the, the the plug for this don't take that much space that you would need to use, like say on a USB uh, power brick. It too has the audio connector right here, a 3.5 audio in connector, but, or audio out, but you have to get your own audio connector. It doesn't come with one out of the box. It's not, it's not included for the price. It should have had one. And then the USB-C port right here is for charging other devices. So it doesn't use USB-A, it uses USB-C. To charge other devices so that's that okay and yeah this it has the best sound out of the box and again with the tribit app you can um customize the sound even more to your liking which is pretty nice which whoops which leads me to the uh rave party cast the soundcore rave party cast its pluses or again, it has a pretty long battery life, but the longest battery life is definitely the Tribit Stormbox Blast. But on the Soundcore, it too has an app that we'll talk about in a little bit. But on here, the one thing I don't like with the ports on the uh, 
sound core is all it has is that USB-C port or USB-A port right there for charging. It's got your uh, 3.5 audio connection or port for uh, to plug it into an MP3 player or something like that that doesn't have Bluetooth. And then it uses a, a power brick as you can see right here, DC in. But I like how the sound core also has the lights and that you can also use the bass up feature with your custom EQs or any of your EQs that you have in the app. And then the other plus the Soundcore Ray Party Cast has with the app is uh, these uh, party games. So you have a few games like Spin the Bottle, um, what were the other games? Truth or Dare and Categories and stuff. And so, you know, the way it works is when it does that and say there's other people sitting in that area, if it the bottle points to there, then... You know, you know how spin the bottle goes, right? And same thing with truth or dare. You know, if you play truth or dare and you go to spin the wheel and it'll tell you which player and they do a truth or dare. So that's, that's pretty cool with the, uh, sound core rave party cast. And then it also has the DJ light DJ right here. And then in this enter light DJ. So light DJ is, um, you can adjust the, like, uh, you can adjust the lights for it, but it has that mode where, you know, like a, a DJ, you can do scratching, right? See, so watch, let's uh, do this. Okay, so with the Ray Party Gas, we can do one of these with the light DJ mode part of the app. We can do this. So some people might get a kick out of that. They might have some fun with that. Like, I don't know if you're bored, you want to pretend like you're a DJ. So that's the one good thing with the Soundcore app is it has the light DJ and has the party games, which uh, the Tribit app does not have. And of, of course, the uh, the Ortizon won't have because it doesn't have an app, period. So those are the pros and cons and plus and minuses of all of these speakers. They're all water resistant up to a point. The Tribit Stormbox Blast and the Ray Party Cast, you can, they can take a dunk in water, whereas the Ortizon could, is only IPX4, so it could only take splashes of water. And is there anything else I might have missed? That's probably it for all three of these on this uh, comparisons. If there are some things that I missed, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer it for you guys if I know it. But yeah, that should be it. Uh, all the other extra specs and features on these speakers, like the weight, and everything else, a runtime and things like that, is in part one. The Rave Party Casts and the uh, Ordizon are supposed to be able to take calls, but only the sound core takes pretty good calls. The Tribit does not take phone calls, and it can't be used as a speakerphone. The Rave, the sound, Ordizon says it it can it can be used, but I I've tested that, and you guys have seen it, and it it can't do it. Only the Rave Party Cast can do that. So that's the other pro for the uh, Rave Party Cast. So uh, let's wrap this up. So that was our indoor sound test and comparisons of the uh, Soundcore Rave Party Cast, the Tribit Stormbox Blast, and the Ortizon P6. Do let me know which one do you guys prefer as far as sound goes. Which one's, which speaker do you think sounded the best? Which one was the loudest? Which one had the most bass? And uh, which one looks the best? Which one has the best uh, RGB lights? If you're into that thing or if you don't like RGB lights, let me know. So that is it. If there's anything I missed, please let me know in the uh, comment section and I'll try to do another follow up in the future on these three speakers. Also stay tuned for their own individual videos on the Tribit Stormbox Blast and the Soundcore Party Partycast. I already did one on the Ortizon, so I'll put the links on the Ortizon as far as the individual review on the Ortizon speaker. And uh, if you guys are interested in any of these speakers, 
So once again, like I said, at the time of making this video, which is uh, September the 20th, 2022, the Soundcore Rave Party Cast goes for $149 in store at Walmart or $179 if you order it online. And that's probably the cheapest place that you can get it. You can't get it on Amazon and uh, you could probably get it at Target, I'm not sure. You could also get it like at Verizon, but Verizon, the sale that they had is no longer available. So now it's $179 also at Verizon. So at the time of making this video, the tri -bit is actually down to $169. I don't know if that'll stay, but I would jump on that if you can because I got it for probably around there or a little bit less on a lightning deal and then the uh, Ortizon P6 it goes for $139 but there's always discounts on that like say a $23 or $20 off discount on the Ortizon so but you guys will see it in the uh, video as I, as, as I speak I'll put the links in the description if you guys are interested in any of these speakers uh, Amazon links to the Tribit Stormbox Blast if you guys are interested in the Tribit Stormbox Blast, please use those links as it does at least for the Tribit. Use the Amazon links for the Tribit because it does help out my channel and my charity, the Wounded Warrior Project. With that, if you guys have found this video helpful and informative, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. See you guys next time.